I know it sounds like a punchline, but Washington, D.C. used to be a place where people could talk to each other. <laughs> One of our main characters, Hester Ferris, uh, could host a variety of dinners and salons in her Georgetown home and invite politicians, presidents, senators. And I love Hester. I think that she is so smart. She's passionate about her family. She's passionate about what she believes in, about social issues. Um, and she's so articulate, which I admire so much about her. So into this household uh, comes somebody who is completely swung to the un other end of the pendulum in terms of their point of view and thought. And uh, you can imagine what kind of uh, uh, sparks might fly in that kind of situation. Anna is someone who is, for, so first and foremost, her political be beliefs are, are her religion. Oh, I bet you're an ambitious girl. I bet you're right. <laughs> I think she is not accustomed to the ways of Washington, especially Washington vis-a-vis -vis Georgetown, and those sort of interpersonal dealings that are necessary to, to get things done. The last time a woman refused to leave the gentlemen to their postprandial drinks, I think it was Sally Quinn before she got it, before she learned Washington. So, yes, it's about politics. It's also about family. I love, there's so much love in this play. Oh, Jean, have you smelled this hair? I have not. I don't go around smelling small boys' hair. <laughs> and how incredibly important it is to be able to talk about politics, about issues, about love about family, um, about the things that really matter. About You fight for things, but you don't lose people. Music